Hi, I'm Dr. Don Bonner with Personalized Wellness. Today I'm going to do a talk on functional medicine and uh, how we look at uh, the treatment of depression uh, differently than other people do. And you know, this space with functional medicine, integrative medicine, uh, precision medicine, whatever you, whatever you want to call this, we definitely take a different approach to uh, treating patients and depression is no different and we really look to see the why of any any sort of problem that comes in we, we're asking the question why why is the patient depressed and for the most part the way i look at depression is i try to break it down to simplify it to a degree in the sense that you know does this patient have a deficiency in something a nutritional deficiency uh, again, we'll talk about diet, nutrition, and that sort of thing, you know, sleep, uh, several different aspects like that. Or is this an inflammatory issue? Does this per person have Crohn's disease, ulcerative colitis, autoimmune disease? Does he have sleep apnea? Um, does he have any other reason to have intestinal permeability where he has, uh, you know, increased lipopolysaccharides in the system that are causing inflammation? That's really the way we look at this. We look at things a bit differently. You know, I looked at statistics for depression, and they're pretty, pretty alarming. At least 18 million people in the United States have clinical depression, and I think that number is much higher than that because I see a tremendous number of patients that are on antidepressants that haven't been, that haven't been really diagnosed as having depression. They were placed on it by a family doctor or OBGYN because they were sad, you know, had depression type symptoms, anxiety. So I think that number is actually much, much higher than that. And I think that probably most of us have been impacted by depression in one form or the other. Uh, somewhere close to at least 50,000 people in the United States uh, commit suicide each year. And that really hits home for me as um, one of my best friends committed suicide several years ago. So it's definitely impactful. It's something that uh, is tragic, and it's something that uh, that we try to uh, that we try to treat here. Please uh, click the subscribe button and the uh, little bell down there at the bottom, the notification bell. That helps us out as a channel, and it also will help you out in the sense that you'll be notified every time I put up a new video. So quickly, the things that we look at in in uh, in functional medicine. Again, we're looking at the why. So the first thing I always look at for, for every patient is diet and nutrition. We want to dial in diet and nutrition as far as the nutrients that you're taking in, uh, the quality of food that you're eating, the macronutrients and the percentage of macronutrients. We're always addressing obesity, insulin resistance. All of those things increase your, your body-wide inflammatory burden. And we're also looking at blood sugar swings. Blood sugar swings can really impact you uh, psychologically. So that's a big thing on our list. Sleep is huge on our list. You have to get a good night's sleep, folks. You have to get that good seven to eight hours of sleep and get enough deep sleep to basically reset your brain. So sleep's very, very important. Obstructive sleep apnea is very damaging to the body. Again, inflammatory issues you know, involved with that. So major, major problem. B vitamins are huge. There can be methylation problems. Vitamin B6 is, is very important for the production of your neurotransmitters. So I put all my patients on a, on a very good multi-B vitamin that has methylfolate and methyl B12. And I also supplement with uh, vitamin B6 for any patients that have uh, depression. At least 100 milligrams of vitamin B6. And if their homocysteine levels are elevated, I'll push that B6 level up to five or 600 milligrams a day for a while to bring, to bring the homocysteine level down. Hormones, very, very important. Uh, one of the first hormones I think about with depression is thyroid. We really do a, a, a very solid look at thyroid, run several parameters to, to look for uh, thyroid issues. If you look at the literature, T3 by itself and used in pretty high doses for depression works exceedingly well. And the, the literature is just, 
that's I mean, really good as far as supplementing with with T3. But you're gonna you're gonna suppress the TSH, and when you suppress TSH, any other doctor that sees that thinks of grave disease and hyperthyroidism, and is gonna is gonna question why you're doing that. So that, I think that's why most physicians don't do it. Vitamin D, very, very important. I push those levels. I try to get 25 hydroxy vitamin D levels close to 100. Again, other doctors are gonna have a problem with that. They're gonna be worried about hypercalcemia. I've never seen it. Very, very important. Your sex hormones, again, very important. We balance those in both men and women, and it makes a huge difference when it comes to depression. I really like organic acids test. That's a home test, first morning void, so it's a urine test. It gives us a lot of great information as far as fatigue, mitochondrial function. Again, I think mitochondrial function is, is, is very important. Mitochondria are your energy producing portion of every cell, and your brain has a tremendous supply of mitochondria. So we wanna make sure that nutritionally we're very sound when it comes to that. You'll also, we also get uh, some breakdown of your neurotransmitters. That helps us to, uh, to decide to a degree about supplementing with, with amino acids. I do do high dose amino acid therapy for anxiety, for depression, for OCD. Uh, I said anxiety. Uh, there's a lot of different things that I, that I use those for. I use 5-HTP, pretty high doses of 5-HTP which is a precursor for serotonin. I use high doses of tyrosine, I also, which is a precursor for dopamine. So those, th those things can be very important. And again, it's a way of uh, building up these neurotransmitters and decreasing depression and anxiety without having to use pharmaceutical uh, drugs. Exercise is big. A lot of studies out there that show exercise is just as beneficial as antidepressants. So I'm a huge advocate of exercise. We talked about GI health a little bit earlier, but uh, if you have intestinal permeability, you have problems with your intestine, you increase your inflammatory burden. Again, very, very important. Inflammation is so big. Uh, I saw a study not long ago where they gave patients inflammatory cytokines, which are typically elevated with, say, say you have a viral infection, you have the flu your inflammatory cytokines would be elevated. When they gave those patients inflammatory cytokines, patients actually became depressed. So I think that's very telling about the origin of depression and anxiety, frankly. Finally, uh, IV ketamine. We do IV ketamine here in the clinic. I'm a big fan of IV ketamine. I think it works very well. As an anesthesiologist, I've been using ketamine for 25 years. It's a very safe drug. I feel very comfortable using it. Patients respond very well. I even ha I have patients after one dose of IV ketamine, several hours later, tell me that they feel very, very different after the ketamine. We're gonna do a series of talks just on IV ketamine itself, the ins and outs, how we do it, and, uh, and the procedure, that sort of thing. But I, but I will say I'm very impressed with the results of IV ketamine. Okay, so that's, that's a quick look at what we do as far as the functional medicine approach, the way we look at depression. Again, very serious topic, and I really believe that uh, we can help people out and uh, get them feeling better. And we have, we have a lot of, uh, basically, we have a lot of arrows that we can use uh, to attack uh, this uh, particular illness. So again, Dr. Don Bonner with Personalized Wellness. Please hit the subscribe button, the little bell there at the bottom, and that helps us out uh, as a, a YouTube channel. And uh, we'll have another video out shortly to address some of these other issues. Thank you.